welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE. FE stands for Fun Edition. We're going to start with the unboxing as usual. Um, so inside the box we've got a pen free of charge. Hi Apple, it is possible. So the pen itself pretty much very lightweight. Uh, we do have a button on the very top which we use to launch um, air actions. Moving forward, we do have, if I can get inside, there should be a USB-C to C cable. So let's have a look. Yep, Type-C um, to Type-C cable, which is um, two meters, I believe, in length. And then we've got the pin to open uh, the memory card tray and a usual paperwork, quick start guide and stuff like that. But obviously I will talk you through the features of the device. So front we've got the 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and then on the uh, side we've got one speaker and a memory card tray, the other speaker. So we've got stereo speakers on the right side plus type C um, connector. And then on the bottom we've got a pogo connector for the keyboard on the very top. We do have two microphones, volume up, volume down, and a power button which also doubles up as a fingerprint sensor. Pretty neat, works as intended. So 10.9 inch LCD screen. We've got the magnet on the very top that allows us to connect the pen itself, uh, but you can also connect it at the very back uh, if you'd like. It doesn't charge the pen, the pen doesn't require charging. Uh, it's not a Bluetooth pen like with, I believe, the normal S9 version. And then we've got the 8 megapixel camera on the back. Right, so let's go into the settings and let's have a look at what we are running on. Uh, software in status, software information, Android 13, One UI version 5.1 for one. So pretty much the latest um, available. Yes, I know there is One UI 6 coming, but hey ho. Uh, battery 8000 milliampere hour, six gigabytes of RAM, 128 of a expandable storage, 128 gigs of expandable storage, multi window for all apps, landscape view for portrait apps. So if you're thinking about, for example, using Reddit, which forces you to use it in uh, um, portrait mode, you can force it to be used in landscape. Um, display, like I said, 10.9 inch IPS LCD, uh, 90 hertz. Now we do have dark mode, which ca we can trigger via schedule. And then motion smoothness, standard 60 hertz or adaptive 90 hertz. Um, eye, eye comfort shield, which removes the blue hue and makes it easier on our eyes when using in a darker environments. Uh, then we've got edge panels, which obviously allows us to um, use multi-window. You can use it from either the side using the edge panels or you can use it from the bottom. In terms of sound quality, we do have Dolby Atmos on board. So considering the price, I've paid £419. I believe it's slightly cheaper now. Um, you do get pretty well equipped tab. Um, so yeah, it, it's, 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 it's a pretty decent overall package. We don't have the hotspot option because unfortunately it's not the SIM version, 4G version, but we do get a uh, built-in Samsung DeX, which I'll talk you through in a second. In terms of pre-installed app, standard usual Samsung stuff. However, we do have Lightroom and LumaFusion pre-installed. So let's actually jump onto LumaFusion. I was actually quite surprised, considering obviously the processor in in the actual device itself, Exynos. Um, I was surprised that you actually can get LumaFusion on it, which is brilliant because this is actually what I'm using to edit uh, my video. However, I'm not using this tab. I'm using my trusty Galaxy Fold 4 uh, index connected to external monitor. In terms of the pen itself, we've got air actions. One of my favorite features is screen write. So basically it takes a screenshot of what you are currently doing uh, and it allows you to um, add your own notes. 
Uh, the pen works really, really, really well. Uh, pretty similar to the S8 Plus tab I used to have. Um, I believe it's the same one, really. Uh, minus obviously the Bluetooth functionality uh, and it's quite similar to uh, the one I use on the uh, Fold 4 however obviously slightly bigger. Now obviously the biggest feature is the Samsung Notes where you can use the um, S Pen, you can also use Good Notes if you want but you do get pretty decent amount of um, uh, templates so you've got lines you've got squares if you're polish like me uh, we are actually used to writing on squares rather than uh, lines um, however if you want a more advanced options for writing you can go into page templates and then click on pdfs and uh, you've got even more options to write on. Obviously you can write, you can mark, you can do whatever you like um, and the S Pen is a great addition. To be honest, out of the three devices that support S Pen I've got, which is my Galaxy Book Pro 360, this tab and the Fold 4, I would say this is my favorite device to use the S Pen for on. Um, purely because of the uh, the the, 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 the the responsiveness and how easy it is to hold it uh, versus a laptop or a phone which is a bit wobbly to be honest um, yeah it works great on the tab itself so if you're thinking about taking some notes making some drawings um, the Samsung notes do um, support PDFs they do support copying and pasting uh, image files and stuff like that so it works really really well right let's fire up samsung decks and as you can see again it works pretty well uh, it, i've got my keyboard my trusty dell keyboard and my mouse connected to it you can uh, fire up word you can fire up um, excel uh, next to each other it's a very good desktop mode which you can use um, built in on the tab itself or on the external screen if you'd like to as well so that's Excel. Now let's move on to the gaming section of the review itself. I'm gonna play a bit more of Call of Duty Mobile. Um, I did download the HD textures um, and I did um, set it up for the highest frame rate as well and uh, guess what it just works. Um, as Todd would say from Bethesda. So yeah, let's uh, let's play a game of Call of Duty Mobile. Changing man. 
sight. Bull Hunter killer drone deployed. Sniper. So overall, in terms of final words, I have to admit that the tab has really impressed me. It works really well for a video editing, photo editing, picture editing, uh, dex mode, multitasking, free windows, uh, gaming hardware device. It does a really good job. The battery life is brilliant. It charges fast, albeit I was using a 65 watt um, Samsung Galaxy Book Pro charger, um, but the, the actual tab doesn't support 65 watt charging. It does support fast charging, which is rated at 25 watts, so it takes about an hour and 45 minutes to charge from zero to 100%, which in my opinion, considering it's an 8,000 milliampere hour battery, uh, is pretty decent. I am quite impressed with the tab itself it weighs only 523 grams it supports the stylus the s pen which you do get in the box uh, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg it's literally half price of the s9 tab yes you don't get the uh, OLED screen and uh, 120 hertz refresh rate but 90 hertz is pre plenty decent and for a note taking like I said device which is capable of video editing as well it is brilliant um, so yeah thanks for watching another episode of quick expert reviews and I'll speak to you soon guys bye